Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to create a hat. That's the texture that goes over the Minecraft's head. So as you can see we've got Honeydew. I've decided to use the Minecraft basic model just to show this. You can use the one with the eyes, the mouth, but you'll probably have to change some of the textures so that it fits. So as you can see, there's an extra layer over Honeydew, and he's got an like a, a extra beard, and these horns at the top. So that's what we're going to create. So I'm going to delete that one, um, and then what you want to do is go to the Create tab, Geometry, and create a box. And if you followed the tutorials before. It's going to be 20, we're going to go for 21, 21, 21. If you didn't follow the tutorial exactly and didn't make a cube head, you know, just make sure it's slightly bigger than the actual head. I've gone with one more, one uh, unit higher. So, um, what you want to do next is go to the align tool, which is at the top, um, and click it. Make sure you've got your box selected and click the, the head. And you're going to want to make sure the current object and target object are center. Make sure all three of these at top X, Y, and Z are ticked. And press OK. So now you should have a box around the head, which is yay. So now um, it's pretty much just like when you textured the, the um, head. You're going to want to go to the modify list. You want to go down to unwrap UVW um, selection select po uh, faces and in select by make sure you turn off ignore back facing because you know that's it's best to keep that off and make sure you do that because sometimes you might want to select all the faces and if we had this on if I show you I only select the front face because it can't select anything behind it if I turned it off it selected all of them which can be an issue. So now what you want to do is open the UV editor. Now I'm going to have a texture. Um, there's a template guide that for every uh, Minecraft mob and you know uh, Minecraft avatar or Steve or whatever you use. Um, so what you want to do is at the top where it says checker pattern, uh, click that and go to pick texture. And then choose bitmap, which should be understand it. And then I'll down I'll I'll put a download link in the description, and you'll get this, which has all of the the mappings for for the head. And what we want is going to be up at top the head accessories. So um, and pretty much just like you did with the head, you're going to want to. Select the face. One uh, actually, that's best thing to do first is select all the heads. Now make sure you select all of them. That means turn off select by uh, ignore uh, back, ignore back facing. So you get all of them. And then what you want to do is go to mapping, flatten mapping, and it should be just the defaults and just press OK. And now all of them are by themselves. Now what you want to do is let's start with the front one. And you know, just drag them um, and just position them. Now, I prefer to use the third one over here, freeform mode. That, that I, pre I preferably think that's the best one. That means you can resize it, rotate it, and move it around without having to change which uh, which tool you've got. So just you know, get it inside that orange box. It should be exactly the same uh, map size as your as your um, skin. That you've chosen, no matter what the size is, as long as you didn't resize it to something that isn't the normal proportions, it should be exactly the same, no matter what resolution or image size. So you know, just keep zooming in if you really want to get it really precise, because sometimes that really does help. I think I zoomed in a bit too much there. 
go down like that. And then, you know, just do that. Um, revolve them. So, yeah. Now you can always edit these. Let's make sure they're just right. They don't have to be perfectly right. As long as they're as close as you can get them. The more you zoom in, the harder it's going to be for the human eye to see that it's not perfect. So, just keep select the faces. You can select them inside the UV editor, or you can just go into the object and click them. As long as you got the face selection, polygon selection, face, it's square, red square, and simply position them as well as you can get them. And after this, we'll add the do texture. This will work with any other texture, uh, any other skin, of course. The actual rig itself, if you follow the uh, the tutorial, the rig tutorial, you should be able to get the exact same result as long as you stop uh, uh, when it gets to the whole part with the eyes and mouth and the rigging for that bit, because. You know, if you don't want the whole eyes in it, you can always skip it and just do basic mod. You don't forget the bottom one, even though most of the time it never gets used. After you've got them all sorted, should have. And now what you're going to want to do is you want to open the material editor. So uh, if we press M, or go to top, and there should be a material editor. It'll be like a sphere symbol at the top. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your cube and assign a material. So any of them. I I chose 08 because it forms cool. And um there should be the assign material in selection. So as long as you have your cube selected and the material slot you want, uh just click it. It should be beside the red X. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go down to diffuse beside the grey and you're gonna want to it's a little box beside it. Click it and then click bitmap. And you're going to want to select your skin. Now, the best thing to do with the skin is make sure it's PNG because if it, it, most skins should be PNG anyway. Um, so make sure the PNG because that makes it a lot easier for the alpha. The transparent bit. So now you've done that, you probably noticed that it's still grey. What you want to do is show shaded material in viewport. It's this little checkered symbol. Um, it's the fourth one over from the left or right. And you want to click it. And as you'll see, it all looks very strange and weird in your viewport. Well, that's because it's not been transparent yet. So what you want to do is go to parent, which is second from the right back up and then what you want to do is drag that little M now that's beside the diffuse and drag it all the way over to opacity which should be right upside it. and it's up to you if you want to copy it or instance I'm, I'm just going to instance it just press OK and then what you want to do is go and press pr press the M and then what you want to do is go down to bitmap parameters and then under mono channel output, change it to alpha. As you'll see here, it's now in that. You know, you can see a, that a 
all the bits that are uh, are now transparent. But as you will notice, that doesn't show up in the viewport, which is bad sometimes. Now, there's probably I I'm not sure if it's the same way for uh, for 2010 and. Uh, and all those. I know for 2012 and 2013, this is how you would make it transparent in the viewport. So, what you want to do is go to realistic and go down to material, materials. I click on realistic with materials with maps. And as you can see, all the bits that shouldn't be there are now gone, and you now have your bits that you want. So if I was to render that, you can now see it's uh it's perfect. And you now have that extra layer that you want. Now here's a few things you should probably do. Um is of course change it to hat because that's what you probably want. So you know, just Type it there, hat. Oops. And if that, if if you cannot get it transparent, um, best thing to do is just hide it. If you if you um you don't want to use it. For the time being, and when you're going to render it, you know, unhide it. Or, um, if you can get it transparent, of course, the problem is you can't click the head underneath it without double clicking or something. So, the best way to fix that is to freeze it. Because, well, first, actually, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the select and link, it should be at the top, which I can't, I'm not sure if you can see. It'll be under the green button, uh, the chain icon. Now, what you want to do is I go to F3, go to wireframe because it's much easier. If it's a basic model, then it's quite low poly, so it'll be difficult to. But all you need to do is just find the line for that, for the hat, and just drag to the held head. Now, if I was to select the head when I turn it, the the um, accessory now also rotates. So what you want to do now is to make sure you don't have to click that is right click and go to object properties and then under interactivity freeze it and under show frozen to gray untick it so untick it so it's not and then just click OK and now when you click, you're clicking the head and turn it and you don't have to worry about the beard. So there you go. You've successfully created a head accessory. So there you go. How do you do? Yeah. So um, also, as we're in this tutorial, um, in case no one knows how to import a, uh, the rig into another scene, the best way to do it is to go to the green box in the top corner, go down to import, and just hold over it, and there should be a merge. Now, it might be different in 2010 or 9, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a merge option there somewhere. And just click on merge, and then look for the file scene. So, uh, just do that, and then just click all. If it's just the rig in that in that file, then this is perfect, that's what it should be if you really want to use it a lot. And just, you know, click all, and then press OK, and then, uh, auto rename, because, you know, there's probably going to be names already taken, just apply to all, and same with that. There you go. Rig. So, yay. This is my rig. So that's all you had to do to import it. And you could do that multiple times. I wouldn't recommend trying to copy everything, cloning it. Uh, there might be problems with that. But if you merge it again, it, it shouldn't have any issues. Um, so, yeah. So that's 
pretty much it for this tutorial. If you if you like the tutorial, um, you know, like it. If you share it, if you can. Um, I'm hoping to have partnerships soon. Um, should be good. Um, got any ideas for more tutorials? Just leave a comment or send me a personal message, and I'll see if I can add it to the list of all the tutorials that I've got. Um, um, messages for, and I'll try and get them all done. Um, so, um, thank you for watching, and bye.